Hey YouTube, this is my first video ever, and I hope it's going to be okay. Um, I know the sound in the picture is not the best, but the camera that I'm using is kind of a few years old, and it suits my needs, so I'm not looking to change anything right now. It is what it is. The first time you did something, it wasn't gold either, so... Mm. Anyway, well, it's almost St. Patty's Day, and I got on my green, even though it really does look kind of blue, but it's not. It really is green. Um, so, let's just get into the heart of why I'm recording this video. I'm hoping to reach out to Ellen DeGeneres and see if maybe she can, you know, contact Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, for my mom, just so she can say hello. Because my mom is a huge freak out fan of J-Lo. To the point where my mom has had me create a Facebook page just so she could see a particular article and find out about the dress that Jayla was wearing. Really? That's all she wanted to do. She didn't want to have nothing to do with social media. She just wanted to see the dress. Um, now, there are comments there are questions, there are messages and friend requests coming through on my mom's page. But she hasn't responded to a single one. And she's not going to. Because she's not a social media person. Um, she doesn't believe in having her business all out in the street like that for everybody. Well, you can't really blame her. <clears throat> That's just how she is. So I've had to get on the Facebook page and say, hey, you know, this is my mom's page. Please don't be offended if she doesn't respond to your messages, comments, or friend requests. She doesn't get on here to be social. She get on here to be nosy. So, yeah, that's why my mom has an un-Facebook. So, yeah. And if I come over while you're on, I have to be quiet. I'm not allowed to talk. I have to be quiet. I can't, I have to wait till commercial comes on or you're done. You're off the air. Um, depending upon what time of the year it is for, you know, daylight savings time and all that stuff, sometimes she has to miss you because she has to go pick up my dad from dialysis. He does that three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And he also has a disease called PSP. Progressive Supernuclear Palsy. Now, my dad was doing dialysis for a few years and then some things started happening which led him to go to the doctors and get the diagnosis of PSP. So, um, that made him ineligible for a kidney transplant. So, the family came together and, you know, tried to find matches, but everything just did not become compatible the way it was supposed to so it was a hard blow to deal with but we're strong we dealt with it um and being strong is something that my mom holds in great abundance um In spite of 
all the challenges, all the the health issues have come up. My mom is a trooper. And even though I've watched her transition into the role of from a wife to a caretaker, that's her life, that is her world. That's you know, who she is. She's really embodied her wedding vows through sickness and in health. And now it's the sickness and it's like, okay, this is what I gotta do. My boo boo needs me, so this is what I'm gonna do. And does it without hesitation. And it does make me worry about her. Like, um, how much physically can my mom keep up with? Um, you know, even though I try to help up there, help out, there is no way I could fill in my mom's shoes. I just, that ain't happening. My mom is on point with everything and with such precision. Um, in everything that she does in the home, she's still masterful at what she does outside of the home. Taking care of her husband full time, making sure he's at his doctor's appointments, physical therapy, and dialysis and making sure that he's okay after dialysis and things like that if he has a choking spell or something. She still finds time to cook and serve at the church's food kitchen. And she used to work for Social Security. And around Christmas time, they would adopt a family. And mother's been retri re retired for some years now. Yes, I just recently learned how to speak. And she will still take it upon herself to find out what family is in need. Um who has kids, who, you know, who's just needs some help, who doesn't have anything. So, she still got that, that caring nature. Um, I don't know how, but God gave her a double, triple dose of caring ability and able to maintain. So, you know, She'll call the family and say, hey, you know, I have a family that needs this. I have kids this size, this age, need that. And people come together. Clothes, beds, sheets, shoes, food, Christmas trees, presents. You know, it's just, this woman's spirit is so caring and and beautiful to the others that I just have to figure out a way to say that you're acknowledged that you are loved that you are appreciated nobody can do what she does um you know it's There are, are, are people in this world who just have that grace about them to be able to do stuff without fail, without hesitation, without any type of complaint. Even when she has uh, bouts of vertigo, has a dizzy spell, she'll still get up and go on about her business and do what she needs to do and even tell. 
when it's acting up because she'll hold her head to the side and be traipsing down the hallway and it's just I can do it I'm okay it's just okay like nothing now I try to encourage my mom to get out the house and just you know go do something for yourself she wouldn't do it periodically she does but not enough you know it would be nice if she could do it a little more often or she could do it but she's still not completely able to detach from her her boo boo she'll still call and text how's he doing is he okay is he asleep did he eat what did he eat okay get him a zone bar you know she just can't completely relax and I need my mom to relax reset and reboot I don't want her to wear herself out because she gives so much of herself. She gives so much of herself away that she doesn't really keep anything for herself. So, I just thought I would, you know, make this video and see if I could just, you know, get somebody to tell her that yeah you are acknowledged you are appreciated you are loved you know not a lot of people can say that they still have both their parents not a lot of people can say that their parents are still together um, now my folks they're still together and they're just as nutty as they could be. So around like six o'clock in the evening, they just get to acting real crazy. They'll talk about each other and all types of crazy things. And they have their little married arguments, I call them. You know, just the, the stuff that tells you that the love is still there. The love is still so strong. It's the type of thing that you want to have when you get older. You know, the kind, kind of love that you see on television, in movies. Like, yeah, that's how I want to be. So, I'm not sure what else to say. Um other than I love my mom and I'm just hoping that I can do something to repay her for everything that she's done for me my dad my brother cousins aunties uncles everybody else I'm like, right now, as I'm recording this, she is packing clothes up for someone who is in a situation with their kids. And it's just such a quick respond. People really respond to my mom. And it's not difficult to see why or to see how that she can get the response that she does. Um, because she gives so, so much of herself. She's so selfless. And, you know, it, it's just amazing what 
she does and how she cares and you know that extra mile that she goes those extra five miles that she goes you know not everybody does that you know everyone's not fortunate enough to be that way and there were times where I didn't really like my mom. There were times where I know my mama sure didn't like me. But the love was there. But that's how it is when you're younger. And you don't really appreciate those things until you get older. You have no idea when you're young. You're just young, dumb, and stupid. And sometimes you get that maturity and wisdom when you get older and sometimes it doesn't come. But I got it. I see the blessing that my mom is. And I see her for who she is. And I see her for who she tries to be. I see my mom hurt when my dad is hurting you know when she stays up all night and he's coughed for eight plus hours in the middle of the night and he's coughed and choked and strangled to the point where they don't want to go anywhere you didn't want to go to dialysis look can we come on a different day she just goes to exhaustion but my mom would do anything to make sure her husband is okay and I have no problem with that it would be nice if I could get her to just kind of woo sigh for a moment but you know that's all she'll give is a moment I need her to have more than a moment so, I'm going to see if I can try and talk her into doing something or going somewhere. I don't know what, and I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but I'm going to figure it out. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I'm pretty sure there's some, some more stuff that I could say, but I don't want you to get bored with this video. So, I am going to sign off and hopefully... This video will go viral and hit its mark. So, thank you for watching. Have a blessed and beautiful day.